Okay, guys. So some of you may know that I have been kind of wanting to make a game like Stardew Valley. Um, if you don't know what that is, or if you've never heard of Forger, it's kind of the same thing. Let's go to Steam real quick. Um, here's Forger. I'm, I've been really hooked on this game lately, actually. It's really fun. I definitely recommend you to play it. It's pretty cheap, too. $9. Oh, same as Stardew Valley. Um, but yeah, this is Stardew Valley, so it's kind of like a farming game. Um, I've been kind of wanting to make one of those kind of games before. And today, I went all out on making collisions and stuff like invisible walls. So I have this terrain and then the red is like the boundaries. It's kind of like the walls, I guess. Let me tell you guys something. It's not easy at all. It was a pain in the ass, but I finally got it. So you can see I can't go through the red walls. Um, it's a bit buggy. Like sometimes I get stuck here. Um, but yeah, I finally got it after 10 hours or so. I don't know. It was not fun. And the thing is that it was actually, it's very simple. So I did something very different. Um, normally you would use here, actually, let me go to this sample project that I was actually messing with. Um, this one. So where's my stuff? Oh, it's taking a while to load. Sorry. Um, but what I was using um, and here was um, some special camera that follows the player and it moves around. And then the boundaries are just box colliders and the player is just a sprite render and a rigid body and a box collider. Okay, so this is the same thing as what I did in this one. However, the issue was actually following the, the player, like keeping the player in the center because that's just kind of how these games work. So... What I was going to do was have the camera follow the player, but I just couldn't get that to work. Um, I tried making my own collision system. That didn't work. I was very close, though, but it was just very buggy, and it kept moving me in weird spots. Um, but basically, I'm actually moving the entire scene like this. And the cool thing, I don't know how or why this works, but I put a rigid body on the scene, uh, ignore the box collider. The player has a box collider 2D and each of these boundary blocks has a box collider. And for some reason, if you run into these box colliders, it's just going to force the scene to stop moving, which is really neat. And I finally figured it out. So it's actually way easier than I was expecting it to be. Um, <laughs> this is the code if you're interested. Um, basically, I am just changing the velocity of the, the scene's rigid body based on the motion vector, which is calculated based on the, the input. So the WASD or the arrow keys and which moves it around. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm keeping the player dead centered the entire time. If I were to get rid of this line right here, it's going to start pushing the player down if I were to keep going up. So I needed to lock that player in the center to prevent the scene from pushing my player. Anyways, um, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that little that little rant or that little showcase of what I've been working on lately. Um, I'll make a tutorial soon, hopefully. And yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like. See ya.